What is up everybody, AJ here, welcome, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to connect Microsoft Lists to Power BI. Microsoft Lists is a great way to easily capture, share and build information out with the team. And Power BI is a very powerful tool that allows you to turn that information into easy to understand data visualization. By connecting Microsoft Lists to Power BI, you can be creating this amazing amount of data and then really easily representing and sharing it through Power BI. If you haven't used Microsoft Lists before, I'll put a link down below to my video that introduces you to Microsoft Lists because I think that would be a really great place to start. With that being said, let's jump into it. Alright, so let's jump over to Microsoft Teams, find the team set that we're going to create and use the data from. For this example, we're going to use the data in the sales and marketing team and we're going to look at these monthly sales reports. In the top here, you've got your posts, your files, your wikis. We're going to open up the file section and you're going to see here a bunch of different Excel spreadsheets of these different sales reports that are spread out by region. What we're going to do is we're going to turn one of these Excel spreadsheets into a Microsoft list. We're going to do this really simply by in the top ribbon next to sales reports. You can see the little plus symbol. We're going to hit that option. We're going to add a new tab and we're going to search for Microsoft lists. And this is going to pull that program into our team site. If you can't see lists in front of you, simply hit the search option, start typing in lists, and it is the option with the purple background. We're gonna select on the app, it's gonna take a few seconds to load, and then it's gonna say select save to finish adding lists to your channel. We're gonna hit save, and then what you'll see is in the top corner, we now have a tab for Microsoft Lists. So we can either create a list from scratch, or we can add an existing list from a different site. We're gonna create a list from scratch for now. We can either build it from one of the templates here, start from blank, import data from an Excel spreadsheet or from an existing list. Like I said before, we're gonna use an existing Excel spreadsheet. So we're gonna select an Excel. We're gonna go over to our monthly report where everything is saved. And I've actually renamed one of the files here as the German sales demo. We're going to select that Excel spreadsheet and simply hit next. Microsoft list is going to convert that Excel spreadsheet into a list. We can go through and edit this before we finish it. I'm just going to scroll through for now. This seems fine, but if we wanted to, we could change the type of columns that we have here. I'm just going to hit next for now. We can give it a name, give it a des description, change the color. So we're just going to call this German sales. And then we're going to hit create. So you can see here we've just converted that Excel spreadsheet into a Microsoft list. We have our columns, we have our information, and if we scroll across, it is the exact same Excel spreadsheet, but it is now a Microsoft list. And now we're gonna pull this information and import it into Power BI. To do that, you wanna select on the ellipses here, right next to the edit in grid view, pull down that drop down menu and go open in SharePoint. Opening it in SharePoint is gonna open up your web browser and pull you to the SharePoint where that list actually lives. And here it's gonna take you directly to the list. We wanna go one step before that. So instead of being in the list right now, we wanna go over on the left-hand side here, you can see edit, recycling, bin, site, uh, site content. We wanna select on the home tab and this will take us to the home tab of our sales and marketing SharePoint because what we need is the URL of the home tab of the SharePoint that list lives in. So we're gonna select this URL at the top here, and now we're gonna launch Power BI. Using the Power BI desktop, not the mobile app. Once Power BI loads, you're gonna be greeted with this welcome screen, and it's gonna ask you to either get data, open an existing report, or look at your recent sources. We're gonna select on the Get Data tab, and then Power BI is gonna ask you where do you wanna get the data from. To make it easier, instead of scrolling through the old section, on the left-hand side, you want to scroll down to where it says online services, and the top one is SharePoint online lists. SharePoint lists and Microsoft lists are the essentially the exact same thing because the Microsoft list is just pulling from the SharePoint site because it's essentially the same single point of truth. Everything leads back to your SharePoint site. So we're gonna select SharePoint online lists and we're gonna hit connect. The implementation, you can do 1.0 or you can do 2.0 the beta. I actually don't know what's new in the in the beta, but I'm gonna select it anyway, because it, it still works. I'm guessing it brings extra functionality. Um, and we're just gonna paste in that URL. So we've got our sales and marketing SharePoint site, and we're gonna hit OK. Now it's gonna populate with all the lists that live in your sales and marketing SharePoint. On the left-hand side, you just wanna find the list that you created. So I can see here Germany sales. 
we're going to select on that. It's going to give us a preview of the data. And yes, that is the exact same data that we had in our Microsoft list. You can either load the data straight into Power BI or you can transform the data. For this example, we're just going to launch straight into it and we're going to hit load. Now the data is loaded into Power BI, you can start building your dashboard and when you're happy with it, we can publish it back to Microsoft Teams. So using the data, I just quickly mocked up the dashboard in Power BI. What we're going to do now is we're going to publish this back to Microsoft Teams. So we're going to have Microsoft Lists where we have the raw information, raw data, so we can keep adding and building to that. And then we're going to have Power BI sitting next to it, giving us a very easy to understand visualization of that data. To publish it back to Microsoft Lists, all we have to do is in Power BI, along the ribbon here on the right hand side, you have the publish option. One thing I'll give you before you hit publish is that when you save your Power BI, I'd recommend saving it back to the team site so that everything lives in the cloud so you, you can access and edit the data from anywhere. Instead of saving it locally to your hard drive or to your personal OneDrive, I would recommend saving it to that Microsoft team site so you have the Power BI file and the Microsoft lists all living in that one team site. So we're gonna hit the publish option and it's gonna ask us where we would like to publish it to. We want to publish it to the sales and marketing team and then we're going to hit select. Power BI is going to start loading it, publishing it to the cloud. Once it's done publishing, the little dialog box will say success and now we're going to jump back to Microsoft Teams. In the top ribbon where it says posts, files, wikis, we have the Germany sales report of the Microsoft list we just made. You want to hit that plus symbol again and now we're going to add the Power BI app. If you can't find Power BI, again use that search and just type in Power BI and it'll be one of the first items that appear. I've got it right in front of me, so I'm just going to hit Power BI. And now Teams is going to ask you which BI do you want to open up. We're going to scroll down to our sales and marketing. We're going to find the BI that we just created. I named it PBI example, and we're going to select that. Again, we can post the channel about this tab. We're going to hit save. And now we're going to turn that Power BI report into a tab in Microsoft Teams. You can see at the top here we have the Germany sales list where we can keep editing and adding data to it. And on the right of that, maybe I should have called it Germany sales Power BI or whatever it is. You can change it and you can put your own names to it. I've just named it as Power BI example. But if we select a Power BI example, you can see that data from Germany sales Microsoft list is now represented in a Power BI. And there you go. It is that simple to connect Microsoft lists to Power BI. What we did in this example is we created a list from an Excel spreadsheet already in Microsoft Teams, and then we converted the information in that list into a much easier to understand and digest Power BI dashboard, but it's all contained within Microsoft Teams. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really want to supercharge the way you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you next time. Bye.